Good evening. My name is Alexander Hagen with the Jeffersonian Alliance, and this is my good friend and stepson, Eugene. And um, we just saw the Thrive Movement movie together, uh, which uh, is a movie that details a lot of different threads. So uh, for me, the threads that I saw that I was interested in particular as a core story is about what I consider corporate fascism. Where, uh, and in this movie, they talk about how the money is consolidated by fractional reserve banking, where it's basically a rigged game. And I won't go into the details. Um, and then the concept of a transition to a society based on nonviolence and um, it reinvestment in our communities. So um, those were the two key threads for me. Um, and for you, what do you want to add to that? So I think the uh, interesting point here is that right now we're in the midst of a transition, major global change. No matter what angle, what curve you look at, they're all approximating exponential growth. And uh, at some point, some call it the singularity is near. Um, what this movie got, uh, did for me is really introduce the model of the torus, which is basically a pattern, a universal pattern found at every level of space and time. And this pattern, if we learn how to work with it, harmonize with it through various practices, we can literally create harmony and thrive as a community, as a species, okay. as a planet. But my question is, what does the torus tell us that we don't already know. So basically so here's, you here's, have a feedback system, a mm -hmm. closed feedback system that has a way of expelling negative energy and generating positive energy in a, in a closed uh, a circle, right? Right. So it's a stable, self-sustaining whole system, which basically is what nature, how nature works. Without, a, a, with, without the self-generating, self-sustaining system, nature does not work. It goes out of balance and collapses. Now, tying it into a, a global situation. Right, well, that was where he made this whole analogy to how nature tends towards an equilibrium. Mm -hmm. But, you know... Uh, well, but it's the dance between the equilibrium and the disequilibrium. So there's a order-disorder portion to this yeah. flow, right, which the, creates a spiral, which creates the spin, the torque. Right, so he's basically right. There have not been any mega extinctions on Earth that were caused by one species getting out of balance. They were caused by things like super volcanoes and ice ages and things like that. Which but in turn feeds into change. So when you have pressure, when you have chaos, uh, pressures, systems are forced to evolve to, to quantum leap into a new orbit. A new expression, an emergent property, <clears throat> dissipated structure. Right, so, so basically the Thrive Movement people um, is a lot to do with uh, the Ecotopia book, Small is Beautiful, combined with seeing that all of the worst nightmares we had uh, were sort of coming true. Uh, and so it was a very beautiful movie. Uh, if you throw out three of the eight segments um, or, or not, there was something that spoke to a lot of people. And, um, and there was one area that was clearly very libertarian, um, which is the idea of an uh, opt-in com community government because if you have opt-in government you don't have and you have non-violence then you uh, trying to grab the people who have a lot of resources um, uh, is a form of violence of, of force so um, my belief is that we should get back all the money that has been stolen from us through fraud and then reset in ancient Hebrew times every 40 years they would reset the property lines at one time. Mm -hmm. So property went back. So we have a great restitution to allow people to become freeholders again. So, um, because the problem is right now, if you transition to a non-force-based system with such concentration of wealth, that means we, uh, there's, there's a lot of implications there. Yeah, I think we're jumping ahead here. Because in order to understand why the current system doesn't work, you, uh, I think the, uh, the authors of Thrive um, uh, proposed this model, this whole systems model, to show what a self-sustaining system does.